Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about the tool called Microsoft Designer. Microsoft Designer allows you to create professional quality social media posts, invitations, digital postcards, and more. Basically, it's a kind of competitor of a Canva, but that utilizes uh, AI to create a design. And once you enter the Microsoft Designer, the first thing that you will see is that it's a text to image tool, meaning that we need to specify the prompt and the tool will generate the image based on our intention, based on the prompt that we provide. For example, as you can see here, the tool suggests us that uh, the prompt should sound like an Instagram post about my cosmetic product launch. And uh, in our case, we will use the variation of the prompt. So let's try an Instagram post about uh, organic hand cream. Before I press the generate, I want to mention two important things about design. We can also add image along with the text prompt and the tool will utilize this as an additional input when it will generate design for us. And it also provides a very handy collection of a prompts that we can use for inspiration. For example, when we hover over this one, we will see the exact prompt that we can use in our process. So let's, let's try the prompt that we have here. Uh, and see how what design it will generate for us. I intentionally don't want to speed up the design process so you will see how much time it will take for the tool to generate the design. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, sometimes it takes up to 30 seconds, but ultimately it's not a really time-consuming process. And as you can see, the uh, tool ge already generated design for us. These are variations of the design that it created based on our prompt. And another great thing is that it also suggests how we can change the prompt to achieve a better result. For example, we can change it to more details, add more details, and it's likely that uh, the design that the tool will generate for us will be better. Let's try it. Again, I don't speed up the generation process, so what you will see is actual process of generation. So, okay. I personally like, I think I will like all of them, but let's, let's try this one because it looks really easy to understand, easy to consume. So, okay, once we click the customize, uh, the tool show us the editor that allows us to play with visual properties. And another interesting thing is that it also utilizes uh, the design that we selected and creates a few different ideas based on our selection. So if we don't like this design for some reason, for example, I don't like this uh, border, I can click uh, on this image and the tool will generate a new version for us. The editor also have a lot of interesting features and one of my favorite is remove background. It doesn't always work well for all kinds of images, but uh, when it works well, it uh, removes the background. But here you can see that the tool tries to eliminate the hand along with the background, uh, so it doesn't work really well in our case, but we can easily restore it. Um, another thing is interesting that we can also generate visuals for our design right from the editor, and we can utilize the ready-to-use images uh, from the gallery, or we can utilize the generate tab. And when we generate images, we use the DALI, which is OpenAI tool for AI images. So we can uh, uh, suggest a prompt that we want to use to generate image. For example, in our case, it will be organic uh, hand cream. And uh, let's see what the tool will generate for us. Again, it takes some time for the tool to generate the actual image. Uh, and uh, the process of generation varies depending on the demands. So Right now, it, will, it took like 15 seconds, I guess. Okay, I think I like this one. And once I press it, I will see that it will generate the image for us. Okay, another interesting thing is that tools allow us to create a brand kit. Brand kit is the tool, uh, is a set of uh, visual properties that we can uh, use in our design. And for example, if I start it over again, I can uh, describe what my brand is all about. For example, organic cosmetics. 
and uh, it suggests colors. Green is usually associated with the organic products, so we will try this one. And it suggests brand font faces based on our product uh, category. For example, in our case, I want to make it friendly. I like this one because it's easy to read. And I also want to try different font face for headings. And uh, my case, I would want to see something more elegant like this one. And for body text, I want to use this really easy to consume, really easy to understand text. Let's, let's try this one. So, okay, this is what we have and we can save it. So one, we, once we're satisfied with um, our design, we can easily download the file. And the great thing about Microsoft Designer is that it is free to use meaning that the file that you will download will be downloaded without any watermarks. And you probably wonder what size of the file will be. It's actually will be selected based on the platform you design for. For example, in our case, we designed for the Instagram, so it will be like 1080 pixel to 1080 pixels. But we can change the size of the canvas when we design uh, either in providing the text prompt. For example, if we designed a Facebook, we will say it's a Facebook post about my cosmetic products. Or we can start with a blank design and suggest uh, the dimensions for our canvas. So in this case, it will be selected based on the Facebook uh, dimensions for the images. So that's all. Thank you.